the Maths Masters Representing Numbers. Today we are learning about how we can represent numbers in different ways. We will look at the numbers up to 10. Shall we count together? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That was a bit quick, wasn't it? Let's do it more slowly. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Numbers tell us how many there are of something. And numbers can be represented in different ways. Wesley is using cubes to represent a number. What number is it? With a talk partner, write down on a whiteboard the number that is represented by the cubes. You can also use a number card. I'll give you a few seconds. Should we count together? Let's go. One, two, three, four. Did everyone get it right? Did anyone miss anything out? Or did you start counting at zero? You've got to start counting from one. That's right, it's the number four. Now Wesley has drawn pictures to represent a different number. With a talk partner, write down the number or choose a number card to show the number that is represented by the bananas. You can use a whiteboard. I'll give you a few seconds. What number does his drawing represent? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six. A question for you. How would you represent less than six bananas? Tell a talk partner now. I'll give you a few seconds. That's right. If you wanted to represent less than six bananas, for example, four bananas, you would simply draw four bananas. Easy. Wesley has been looking at this numeral. How could you represent it? Talk with a talk partner to discuss how you could represent this numeral. What did you decide? You could use drawings or counters, fingers, people, objects, cubes or a number line. Wesley has represented the number five using objects. Let's count the shells as they spin to check there are five. One, two, three, four, five. There are five shells. Well done. Representing five. Let's see some other ways of representing five. We can use the numeral five, the word five, five counters, five cubes, five fingers on hand, or five love hearts. What else could you do to represent five? Share your ideas with a talk partner. I'll give you a few seconds. That's right, you could represent five by drawing objects such as five cars, five books, five pencils, five children, five sons. There are lots of different ways you could represent five. Well done. Wesley has started representing another number. What number is it? Draw it in the air. That's right, it's the number eight. You can represent the number eight in a few different ways. The numeral, the word eight, a Lego brick with eight dots on. But now he needs to represent the number eight by drawing. Could you draw some ideas on your whiteboard or in the air for completing the last box? Work with a partner if you need to. I'll give you a few seconds for this one.
How did you do? Did you draw eight pictures on your whiteboard or in the air? Let's see what Wesley did. Wesley's drawn eight smiley faces. Well done. Your turn. In the air, draw which number is being represented. That's right, it's the number seven. How would you fill in the empty boxes for this number? On a whiteboard, write the numeral and then draw objects to represent the number seven. How did you do? Let's see what Wesley did. He wrote the number seven as a numeral and then he drew some objects. Is he correct? Oh, I don't think he is. How could he correct his mistake? Discuss with the partner, I'll give you a few seconds. He has only drawn six fish. Oh dear. How many more does he need to make seven? Write the number in the air. Does it, no, does it matter what Wesley drew? No, as long as there are seven, it doesn't matter what pictures he drew at all. Here's a challenge. What would you do if the number was zero? Would you show anything or draw anything for that? There, there's the last fish. So now there are seven. What have we learned? Use thumbs up, thumbs in the middle or thumbs down for each statement. Can you represent a number using objects? For example, cubes, counters or drawing? Can you draw pictures to represent a number? Can you write the numbers to 10? Can you show a number using your hands? Can you find more than one way of representing a number? How would you represent the number zero? With zero, you could use the numeral and the word, but there would be no drawings and no objects. Well done, see you next time.